What is up guys, Rick is here with a new video and today we are going to fight bosses 4 to 6 uh, in Void campaign, in the new Void boss 2, uh, as same as yesterday, now just with the stronger version and with a different team actually, we are using TBB here, uh, TBB pretty insane CC here, you will see soon enough in my review, unless you remember of course, then you've probably already seen the review, um, she's an insane hero. Um, her CC is just really one of the best that we have in the game. So I thought I would implement her here. Obviously, we can't CC the boss, but what we can do is CC those minions. And while I figured that they won't do that much damage, I thought like, well, there are five heroes on the battlefield that inflict CC, and four of them I can basically take out of the game, um, thereby limiting the CC this uh, stage can inflict to an absolute minimum. And well, that worked reasonably well. The only problem that you will see actually starting from the next boss fight, we are lacking a bit of damage. And probably what I should have done is investing a little bit more into damage because we took DGN out of the team at DGN. Uh, she provided buffs, her core provided holy damage. That is a massive amount of damage. And you can clearly see the difference between uh, three and actually this boss four here. And that is not really, um, because of the HP increase, which is certainly there, no question about it, uh, but we also just have less damage. <laughs> damage from the enemy, though, yeah, well, that is even lower. Uh, it's non-existing, really. Like, uh, against my team, at least, against those shields, they can't really do anything. I thought that they would be a lot stronger, which is m also partly the reason why I invested so much into defensive layers with the CC, with having HHA on the board, getting all damage reduction from um from mff and crowns on every hero i could probably have gotten away with energy feed on most of those stages um i'm planning to go with an endless cane on the lfa for the next stage or for the next stages just to get more damage you will see in the next boss fight that my team needs some more damage we didn't get max points and a lot of people actually got max points here uh and uh yeah that that was a little bit sad i thought um, that this was a good strategy, the main idea obviously being um, not only to clear those stages, but to clear them in one attempt. I really wanted to make sure that we don't use two attempts and don't fail anything, because what is at the same time right now? Well, at the same time right now, we have Star Expedition, and every single time I can upgrade Temple or I can upgrade my LFA, for example, that is damage. Even if I upgrade my PDE, that is also damage. And um, of course, I don't want to miss out on that. So I just want to make sure in this, um, in those first fights that I clear one boss with every single attack until we clear boss 10. And then of course I can still, I can still go for perfect points. Um, but I've seen a lot of people already got that. And well, you can see it there already. We've seen ones there. We've seen block damage. Uh, not really a whole lot. A stun, a free still. They have a lot of CC. Like uh, even... I saw the idea of using Candy Cane. While you can do that, yeah, you're effectively only blocking two types of CC with that. And I think they have Silence. They have probably every form of base CC that we know. Uh, silence, Petrify. Um, we have Freeze and all of that stuff. So yeah, you're really not blocking a whole lot with that. At the same time, I still think they're not really impressive. Let's see, by the way, how great TBB works against those minions doing an awful good job at keeping them cc'd and uh minimizing their attacks uh, they don't have any energy the whole time because uh tbb drains that uh which is insane and we can focus on the boss um next time i'll probably on uh, adjust the team like that i can use endless cane on lfa and i will probably uh put a mirror on mfg for some additional energy feed um but i have to say like this boss just doesn't seem nearly um, nearly as threatening as the first one we fought. It was much easier, despite having higher divine power now already. I mean, like, uh, he's still there. There's just not a whole lot happening. In the second, we will actually see the damage uh, screen. And on there, uh, you can see, well, they didn't do anything. Like, that is six damage total. That's nothing. Uh, yeah, and the points, well, yeah, not too great. And if we check out the leaderboard in game, I can see I already dropped down to place 31, which is quite insane. Uh, of course, Drake, Jesus, here, a lot of people 
I got to 850, uh, 8.5 million points, which is the maximum at the moment. Um, so you can see quite a lot, actually. There's just not much happening in terms of incoming damage. So um, I guess investing more into uh, do dealing damage, uh, that would have been the right call. Uh, but yeah, figuring out the optimal threat is obviously a little bit difficult if you just have one attack uh, well, with, that, with which you have to clear the boss. Otherwise, you lose automatic irrits, otherwise, you lose out on damage, which is bad. So, yeah, going for op optimal damage, definitely second priority, but 17 people at optimal points. Absolutely insane. We definitely didn't see that on the first boss. On the first boss, uh, I, I remember like day two, there was barely anybody. A lot of people didn't even clear that. Now we see stuff like that. And uh, bosses at divine power six. I mean, that is also kind of a difference. I mean, like now we fight a divine power six boss. When we fought this boss and we were at uh, a boss six, he was divine power four. But the difference is our main damage dealer at that point was like divine power one, maybe. And now we obviously uh, using or a lot of people are using stuff like this in LFA with like divine power five or even six. Six is possible uh, if you if you reset like one of those heroes, take a little bit of the materials, put that on LFA. That is possible indeed. Uh, I personally didn't go for that yet, but uh, yeah, that's uh, that's another thing that is possible. So we have a whole lot more damage. We have more divine power. So I think that also plays into that and makes it a little bit more easier uh, or a little bit easier in that sense. And yeah, that's a huge difference. Um, though I think I will go ahead and continue using uh, TBB for the boss. I like the idea of just limiting the uh, CC they can uh, output. And well, on the later stages, maybe the damage will be higher. <laughs> maybe that's a wrong guess again. I have no idea. Um, the, the scaling is a little bit confusing for me that they just do nothing in that sense. Like as we saw with the six damage, that is like... Yeah, that is so little damage compared to the first one that it's a little bit confusing for me. Uh, it just doesn't seem difficult at all. It's mostly a question about can you put out the damage um, to, to kill those bosses in 15 rounds because it is limited to that. It is limited to 15 rounds. But if we optimize for damage and, uh, well, we are not use, even using full attack here considering, well, she is a crown equipped, not a, not a, a flag. Um, well, we can certainly go for a lot of damage there. And, well, that will be something um, that that might be necessary to clear boss 10 and well i will go for, uh, forward and i will try to do it with this strategy adjust it a little bit use endless cane on lfa use elusive mirror on um, mff and then i i just hope that this is enough damage to punch through to kill those bosses if not with a maximum amount of points then at least just get the clear done and um be happy with that because like then i will have the materials we will see some upgrades and and then i hope we can do some flame shrine damage uh with lfa which by the way we can take a look at i was experimenting there a little bit you can see i got some pretty decent points um today actually uh, a 7 e plus 16 hit which is uh, quite insane in that sense we are definitely getting closer to that e plus 17 in flame shrine which i'm very happy to see and uh i definitely want to clear this boss or like any of those flame shrine bosses this is like one of the goals that i have um i guess if we focused on it at, uh, as a guild you would still lack a bit of damage like probably need like five times the damage or something like that but we are making incredible steps towards it because every single bit of transition power that we get, um, don't forget that, that gives us the damage boost here. And every single level uh, will help towards that. A few, uh, like two weeks ago, we were at four divine power. Now we're approaching six, and then it's only a matter of time. Maybe the next power boss or something, we're going to nine and getting that 90% damage boost on top of GK, on top of everything that uh, we have. And I think that will lead to us eventually defeating that boss. And one of the hopes that I have actually, because we saw what happened in uh, Star Expedition now, in Star Expedition, um, where we or other people nearly cleared it, and well, the H reacted by enhancing the game mode and adding new stuff and adding star blessings, as we see here, and um, adding some new star imprints as well. We got some new sets. I didn't even know if you guys saw that. I was alerted to this by Sally. We got here the Passion set, the Obsession set, and those will be interesting as well. I think they dropped from the hard mode. I couldn't really drop them yet, as you see. I, I don't think I have any yet, I think. Yeah, none, I would say. Uh, they drop from the hard mode. But we'll see about that, I guess, tomorrow. 
Um, pretty eager to see that. And well, I, I, I just hope that when we clear Flame Shrine and just kill the boss, that the H will react by just enhancing that game uh, mode too. Maybe adding something like hard mode Flame Shrine which some, with some more drops, which would be absolutely huge. I'm still a big fan of Flame Shrine or Guild Altar. Um, and well, I, I, I just love to go there, have some fun, fight some bosses. In general, that is one of the biggest things in Isle Heroes for me, just fighting bosses. Same for Void Campaign with those bosses. I already showed that to community match as well. Uh, those bosses are huge. Those bosses are fun. And I just love fighting those. And more, the more bosses, the better, basically. So that being said, I'm looking forward to a live stream, actually. I'm going to do a live stream on the weekend. I'm not exactly sure of the day. I commented below yesterday's video as well. We are going to do Hollow Campaign. And uh, it's going to be fun. I'm pretty sure it's going to be fun. I don't know if anybody cleared it yet. None. On my server, none. That is pretty interesting. Because there are some strong people like Malafernox that can fight Void Boss and stuff as well. Um, so I'm eager to see what, what we will do here. There are always some nice rewards here. Some sublimation materials, some spiritual essence, some stuff like that. Not really insane. Um, I was a bit annoyed that they, again, put Core of Origin shard selection chests in here that just barely included uh, six different cores. I think we are beyond that. Could have been a bit more. And well, I'm, I'm pretty close to having all those cores. Like I have the SFX core, the Queen core. Uh, I don't have the ATD core yet, but I could get it from chests. So yeah, that's the last option for me. <laughs> like I got the Starving Jara core, I got the Ferro Vesa core, I got the LFA core, and don't need the second version of the same core. I have no versions of all of those. And when, well, I think a lot of people just want other cores by now. So like, yeah, could have been refreshed, but like, yeah, what we want to do. I like that there is new content, so that will be great. And I hope you will see you guys on the live stream. I will post the announcement on the Discord as well. Uh, yeah, and with that, I wish you guys a great day. And we'll see us in the next one.